This is the Baratza Encore ESP, the newest addition to the Baratza lineup and a refreshed version of the very successful Encore, aimed at improving grind quality and finer adjustments when it comes to dialing in espresso. Although I'm a little late to the jump on making this review, what that does mean is that I've had a long while to get to know this grinder as well as some of its competitors. Is it the right entry level electric grinder for you? Let's find out. Before we get going, I just want to quickly say this grinder was sent to me by Baratza for the sake of this review. However, as always, that will have zero impact on the contents of this video or the opinions that I express in it. If you do want to check your local pricing for this grinder, I will leave it linked down in the description below. The Encore is and has always been an entry level offering. And for that reason, the finishes are understandably plasticky on the outer shell and main touch points. The grinder doesn't feel excessively cheap or fragile, but it is firmly in line with other grinders in this price point. Compared to probably its biggest competitor, the fellow Opus, I actually give a slight edge to the Encore when placed side by side. But don't expect to be blown away just because it's from a very big brand like Baratza. In fact, Baratza often carries this type of build even into its much more expensive grinders, instead choosing to focus on the burrs and internal components. In terms of appearance, the story is very much the same. No, it is not a modern angular kitchen ornament, but it is classic Baratza in its simplicity and the hopper fed design. Grind adjustment on the Encore ESP is done by rotating the hopper relative to the body, which is a pretty traditional system. Again, compared to the Opus, whose grind adjustments take a graduate math degree to operate, this system is beautifully simple, and that is a major plus, especially for beginners who already have enough to learn when venturing into the world of home espresso. Each of the first 20 espresso grind steps is about 9 microns, which is very good resolution for dialing in. After that, the next 20 steps jump to 45 microns per click, which will be better suited for less touchy methods such as pour over, drip, or cold brew. Now this is a pretty clever system which adds functionality without complicated usability using macro and micro adjustments or other finicky dials. Lower numbers are finer, higher numbers are coarser, and that gets two thumbs way up from me. Grinding is initiated by either the side switch, which will hold the grinder on until switched back off, or the front button, which gives you a quick pulse to help you get up to the exact dose you're looking for. The Encore ESP comes with a classic Baratza grounds bin for larger doses in batch brewing, while Espresso Duty is handled by a dosing cup that can be adapted for both 54 and 58mm portafilters thanks to the included rubber conversion ring. Noise levels are on the higher side when compared to competitors, but they are still not as high as some of the other Baratza grinders, such as the absolute wood chipper that is the Sete 270. In terms of grinding speed, the Encore is quite average at around 1 to 1.5 grams per second in the espresso range and upwards of 2 grams per second in the filter range. Finally, and most importantly, let's talk about the grind quality you're getting for your money. The new Encore ESP features upgraded 40mm M2 conical burrs compared to last generation's M3 burrs. Now while I haven't personally tasted the older M3s, so I can't really comment on the significance of the upgrade, what I can say is that I was pleasantly surprised by both the espresso and filter coffee that this grinder was able to produce. We are genuinely living in an amazing time where you can get this level of grind quality in an electric grinder at this price point. Espresso shots were sweet, they had good body, and they weren't muddy or muted. Filter brews also leaned towards higher body rather than clarity, but I think that the market segment this grinder is targeting will probably make that something that is preferable. When compared to the Opus, for Espresso, I found myself preferring the Encore ESP. In reality, if you didn't have those grinders side by side to compare, I don't think you'd be able to distinguish a difference, but if we're splitting hairs, I found shots on the Encore maybe had slightly less astringency and were overall just a little bit sweeter. When it came to filter, my clarity seeking preferences came forward and I was generally picking the Opus in blind tests. But again, those differences are pretty minor here, and like I said, people might actually prefer the slightly heavier body that the ESP is giving. 
So should you be considering the Baratza Encore ESP? Absolutely. If you're looking for bang for your buck in an espresso grinder, then I'm not sure any grinder on the market exemplifies that as much as the ESP right now. That being said, the fellow Opus is also a value monster. And if you're going to be brewing exclusively filter coffee or want to single dose, then I might recommend you go that route. However, if you are strictly considering a hopper fed espresso workflow, then the choice is actually pretty clear for me. The simple, very granular grind adjustments and the espresso quality of the ESP win out, making this the budget electric espresso grinder of choice for me right now. Again, if you want to check out the Encore ESP, I will have it linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and maybe even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.